Good morning everyone and welcome to a new special episode because today we are in the streets of Denpasar and I am joined by Alex right here who's been living in Bali for a few years and he was telling me about this spot for street photography which is the market I think it's called Badung Market and in the morning you've got tons of different kind of vendors who are coming in the street we're gonna have flowers it's gonna be fish it's gonna be meat there's gonna be a ton of things and this is what I love to capture when I travel what is kind of happening on the local life level for some street photography and that's what I call travel photography when you integrate something that you do abroad and street photography or it's not your country that's basically travel photography. I'm on the 50mm f1.2 and Alex what camera are you on today? Um, SHL3 and 35. 35 1.4. Okay you've shot a lot here right? Yeah because I like this place. Yeah it's very lively there's yeah, a lot yeah, happening. Yeah. All right well let's get started. Selamat pagi. Apa kabar? Bisa foto? See? Terima kasih. Yay. Bagus. It's always uh, oh, uh, interesting when you're shooting and you're taking photos of, of people. First I want to show them. Bagus. What I love about shooting with someone who's been shooting around here for a bit is that you can actually get some context and he can help you also navigate the places. Terima kasih banyak. So how do you interact with people usually? Do you like pay them something? Do you buy something from no, them? No, because do you this try one, to... Papa, this one this is a real homeless. Yeah. Not, not Ibu. Uh, this yeah. girl is not homeless, she has a shop. Yeah. It's okay, but I, I give some just homeless or drink some something like coffee or yeah. eat something. But not for all people. Thank you. Uh, very good. Yeah. My Indonesian is very limited. I love getting like contact shots like that, where like you just have the hands and the food being prepared. Oh, this is really nice. I just wish that lady was in that ray of light over there. That would be so good. I think we're gonna have to go chase light in like streets behind to get some direct light on the market. It, it can be really cool. If you don't know where to shoot, just follow the light. So I'm gonna go this way. I actually like Alex is really getting into the people and talking with them. I think that makes a big difference if you're traveling and you don't know a place, learn a few words and really try to get immersed. And look, he's having fun with them. Apa kabar? Bye. Bye. How do you say spicy? It does. It does? Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm trying to wait for people to move so that I get the light because there's always someone. Oh, there we go. I like those shots with the hands working, you know? Yeah. It's really nice. I kind of want to eat it. Try it. I want to, but not on empty stomach. I think this is a recipe for like bad things. It's really cool how they managed to remove the whole thing. Oh, that's so cool. It's not, you make coconut milk. Pizza photo? Oh, smoke. Look good, good. Yeah, like that, like that. Come, come a little bit out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The light is perfect. Yeah, the light is really good. Yeah, look, it looks so good with the orange. Selamat pagi. Apa kabar? Bagus. Look at those colors. It's perfect. Yay. Yay. A little bit this way. Yeah, perfect. Bagus. Yay. Comment tu dis? Un, deux, trois. Satu, dua, tiga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Satu, dua, tiga. Ah, bagus. So those are pandan leaves and you actually can like color your desserts with it, it makes them green. And it has a very particular taste, it's pretty good. Apa kabar? Baik. Pisa foto? Yeah? Bagus. Yeah. Chanti. You 100% need to speak a few words of the language when you're traveling like that and, and taking photos in the street. It completely changes the dynamic. You feel less awkward. Also, people can tell you what they want or don't want. And I think that's like essential when you're shooting like that. Obviously, Jeremy was behind the camera and uh, Alex speak a lot more Indonesian than me, but just a few words is very helpful. Let's go continue over there, yeah. I think. 
Ouais, ouais, ouais. C'est quelque chose quand vous êtes en train de shooter dans ce marché, c'est très busy, il y a beaucoup de choses qui se passent. Vous ne pouvez pas décider ce que vous voulez shooter, vous ne voulez pas juste les mêmes photos de nouveau et de nouveau, ce qui est comme chaque vendeur. Je pense vraiment que vous êtes en train de bouger et de venir quelques jours, comprendre la dynamique de la dynamique, je pense que ça aide vraiment really pour les photos. Et aussi, then vous pouvez to prédire ce que la lumière sera et comment vous pouvez avoir le meilleur shot. Mais bien sûr, si c'est votre première fois et la dernière fois dans ce lieu, ça peut être un peu difficile. 50 mm a été bon so far. I hesitated to switch to 20, which can give more contact shots, but I was more like focused on like very specific tighter shots. So, so far it's been okay, but I think 24-70 in those conditions can be good. I don't need 1.2 or 1.8 to when I shoot in the market. So 24-70 can be the hammer to hammer every nail. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? It's a really versatile tool. So Alex, uh, what are you doing? Because I feel like you dipped it in the yeah. in the I am chicken. Right? Yeah, because it's 35. You need to be close for uh, a nice bouquet. And boop. did you lick it? Does it taste good? Yeah. Breakfast on your land. I am back. Dali lombok. Dali lombok. Ah, my goodness. What are you making, Gado Gado? Well, I need to make this. No. It's what? That's what you're making. It's a sauce of cacahuete. Ah, yeah, 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 genial. That's what that. You must go. Whenever you go to a place, you got to try new food. So I'm trying what looks like a gado gado, but I'm not sure what it's called. A little spicy, a little peanutty. It's almost like having peanut butter, but then with a little bit of soy sauce and uh, tofu and chilies. Welcome to Indonesia, people. There's so many pineapples here. It's pineapple paradise. Is that photo? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's awesome is that after using the Leica, I really got into the digital zoom thing. So I just set my center button right here to the APS-C 35 millimeter mode. So I don't have to crop and post and I can see differently. So it literally takes me from the 50 millimeter straight to 75 and because I have like so many megapixels on the A1 it doesn't really matter I can actually do that it still looks good decent especially for street photography it's perfect one thing when you start shooting and in your prime lens uh, like a 50 millimeter you always hesitate you're like maybe I shouldn't have gone with 24 or maybe 70 or have something wider even 16 or 14 millimeter but what you realize and very quickly once you start when I start getting in my own zone I kind of start forgetting about the camera and try to really work with the tool that I have. And that's something I really appreciate by shooting prime lenses. It's gonna make you move and it's gonna remove a lot of the barrier of thinking, should I zoom out, should I zoom in, should I change lens? So I highly recommend for anyone, especially when you're doing travel photography like that, and you don't wanna travel with too much, just take one lens, maybe two lenses max, and have fun in those streets. Also, I feel like prime lenses are intimidating people a lot less when you're in the streets and when you're shooting. And that's something that really surprised me. They tend to be a little smaller, except that 50 millimeter. Therefore, the reaction from, for people is different. Here, honestly, as you can see in the market, people are super friendly. And as long as you smile and you try to speak their language, I feel that you're gonna have a good time. And this is how you can get good photos. Then you can print them, bring them back to them. Really uh, always try to have an interaction with people, make them feel a little better about their day. If you can, always leave a positive impression. There are times I messed up, we're all humans and it's not the best, but whenever we can, let's try to do our best job. So I want to thank Alex for taking me to the market today and uh, shooting with me and helping translate also, because yeah. it's not easy. You've been here a lot and so you know a little bit your way around. And guys, if you're ever traveling, reach out to photographers who are in the area. It's always fun to shoot with others. Yeah, of course. What's your Instagram? Bookie at aim. If you're in Bali and you're a local photographer, maybe you reach out. Yeah. You guys can have a little yeah. street session sometimes. Thank you. Thanks, bro. See you soon. Thank you. Yeah. Now, would you like to unlock your inner photographer and finally take photos that you're proud of? If you believe you can progress, discover my 30-day program that has worked for over 2,500 students around the world. This is a step-by-step -step method that will train you to visualize, see, and capture great photos with the gear you already have. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or you want to become a pro, invest in your skills that will last a lifetime. 
Visit the link below to discover the training that many said changed their understanding of photography. I hope to see you there, but in any case, remember, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new.